Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. So I haven't been able to do one of these since my last morning routine, but I'm back for the spooky season. We like to do it pretty well here on Jorvik. Everyone participates, and I mean everyone. Decorations are set up everywhere. So I decided to show you all how I am celebrating Halloween this year. <laughs> This year, I've thought for ages on what I want to wear, but I've come up with the theme, The Masked Vampire. Now, of course, I'd usually ride Ollie for this, but I'm currently away on holidays at a friend's stables for Halloween. Yeah, I told you, Jorvik took this spooky season quite seriously. This here is Arturno, and he will be my spooky horse for the season, but before we go get him ready, I think I should get dressed first so he isn't sitting there tacked up for too long. Alright you guys, I've come down into the chill out room for all the riders here at the stables, and I've sat down at the mirror table to do my makeup first. Even though it will be under the mask, I think it will really help to put me in the Halloween spooky mood. Now that my makeup is done, we can go and get dressed into my outfit. leave the mask until the end but let's go and get Otuno ready I will start off by giving him a good clean a good bath with some soap and some water because he definitely deserves it Now that we are all cleaned, I'm going to take him outside so we can talk to anyone who passes by because Halloween can be a time for community as well. Whilst we were outside, we actually did meet with one of my friends, Luna, and we decided to get ready together. So for part of my outfit, I put on just a old regular red saddle pad and then I decided to rip it up a bit to make it look a little spookier. I forgot to film this part, but I actually dressed up one of the black stable cats. I painted a little skeleton costume onto him and I think he looks really cute in it. And last but not least, we cannot forget to put our mask on. Unfortunately, the first activity up on my list is the haunted trail ride and the tradition is that you go by yourself in this one, so Luna and I parted our ways. I did a short walk up to the start of the trail ride when I remembered that I forgot to add the best part of the outfit. But with all of the fun and games over, the haunted trail ride began. The amount of crows on the path was crazy. 
crazy and they were so loud sometimes. And the path was so foggy that sometimes I couldn't even see my own hand in front of me. We then started to approach this weird looking area and when I realized what it was... Yeah, we were pretty, uh, pretty quick to get out of there. And yeah, I, I did not want to look back. We then saw this white thing through the woods and Autuno did not like it at all. <laughs> so I ended up getting off of him and I went to explore it myself. But as soon as this happened, yeah, I was pretty scared myself, even though I knew it was probably like a hologram or something, but we quickly left that area. <laughs> Only to stumble upon another one. Now I wanted Altuno to kind of not feel too scared, so I tried to make him go as close as possible, and I'm very proud of him for getting as close as he did this time. It then started to rain, which was all right. It was pretty refreshing. And let me just say the sound of the rain was so satisfying and calming, but I was also terrified. This is, was definitely like the scariest part. I'm gonna be honest, completely terrified when I passed him, not even lying. We, we left pretty quickly as well, like really quickly. And then we came to the hardest part of the trail. To say that I was absolutely terrified would be an understatement. I could, I can't even explain how scared I was. So we just ran. It is the most terrifying part of the trail ride but it is also the fastest because you just get out of there you you run you just run but we did make it out to the campsite but we did not stay there for too long as i was pretty ready to go i was feeling pretty tired after one last attempt to scare me we did end up seeing the little purple fire to signify the end of the trail ride. After that, Altuno and I were exhausted. It was by far one of the scariest haunted trails they've held. We went back to Fort Pinta and I had some coffee and some food, but that is the end of this Halloween video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, then make sure to let me know in the comments below if you want to see more role plays. But if you also enjoyed the video, remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe because those are both three ways of supporting me. But I hope you guys are having an awesome day or have had an awesome day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye.